It's semifinal time. Only one spot remains. Each drummer has been given a three minute backing track one week ago. They put in their preparations. Let's check in with our judges. How are we feeling? I'm really thrilled to hear the guys play when it's in musical context, not just like a ad lib solo. So really looking forward to see you guys. Well, let's check in with our contestants. I listened to it a few times and then I just sat down and I played through it a bunch and I thought, hey, if this was my band, what would I do? I tried to just approach it the way I approach playing drums for pretty much anything. Uh, maybe with a little bit more sauce on it, you know? <laughs> Did you do anything special for this one? Sacrifice to any of your Viking gods, anything like that? Just a lot of gentle sobbing, you know? <laughs> All right. Well, hopefully the sound of your tears hitting the drums will make some beautiful music. I'm excited with what I came up with for the, the back track that they gave us. I listened to it many, many times the track and I noticed that it was all these snippets of like particular styles. So I hope they notice my attention to detail and the choice they had of riffs and my, the choice I have of grooves to put along to it.
you guys are both on the edge of your seat. I'm sure everyone else at home is. So let's go to the judges, find out who our winner for today is that will be advancing to our final. Andrew, thanks for that. You know, I think the one word I would use to describe your playing is tasty. I mean, I love the way you bring the whole body to the drum kit. I think maybe that started to work against you a little bit because you started to get a little winded. <laughs> so thanks for everything. Great playing. I look forward to hearing you on a stage at a show sometime soon. Thank you, Mr. Tom. Yeah. Derek, I was really curious to hear what you were gonna do on that track, because I feel like your playing that we heard in the first round is a bit more technical, a bit more extreme, more on the death metal, black metal end of the spectrum. And this is a little bit more of a traditional thrash approach. So mm -hmm. I was like, hmm, let's see how this works. But I gotta say, you made it work. You were playing blast beats over parts that I didn't imagine you could have blast beats over. And the feet, man, it's like a fucking hummingbird is like <laughs> flying through the studio. Your feet are going so fast, so. Good job, we'll see you in the final. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah. Both guys, congrats, very, very good. It comes down to the good old analogy between the old muscle car and the Lamborghini. This is basically <laughs> how I put it. But Derek, you're the guy who would win the marathon. Like in studio or a long live show, you could keep it up all day long without any problem. The feet were just flying, you know, it's, it's a bit insane. <laughs> and you accented the, the right stuff on the cymbals, the bells, all this stuff, very cool. So. Thank you. Well, first, Andrew, uh, that really was incredible. And what I really enjoyed about it the most was that it did seem very, very natural. Blazing fast. I love the part with the kicks in six under four. Cool. That's one of my favorite things <laughs> to hear. Or, and uh, so I, I think you did a tremendous job. The problem is that Derek is fucking flawless. <laughs> it, it's unbelievable. And I'm, yeah, like we were talking about the feet, like I'm, you know, peering over here, getting a little too close just to see what's happening. And it's, like you said, it, you can't, it's, it's unreal. I mean, it blows me away. I think we expected it to be very kind of powerful, and it was, but very kind of straightforward, and it wasn't. It was very, very creative on your part to take these parts and kind of reinvent them in what we might have thought we were gonna hear from anybody. So, congratulations to you, you did a killer job. Well, thank you very much, it means a lot. Andrew? Best of luck, excellent. How do you feel about what you put on display here today? I had a great time, I thought I did my best, uh, and you know, doesn't feel bad to lose to someone fucking awesome, so keep going, man. <laughs> Thanks, man. Again, the love on Shredders of Metal is always overflowing. Derek, let's get some Viking battle words out of you. Always brush your teeth, and personal hygiene is a must. <laughs> Derek, the indecisive, <laughs> but beautifully teethed. <laughs> I hate to see you go, but I love to see you move on. Shredders of Metal 3, the final episode, epic drum duel, tune in, go!